Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Hi, my name is Megan and I post about witchcraft, polytheism, tarot, and uh, other occult topics and a bit of parenting too. If that interests you, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the little bell thing so you can be notified of when I post a new video. Did you know 90% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed? So if that's one, if, the, if that's you, why aren't you subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. It helps the algorithm. It also helps the wider witchcraft and occult community because then your average person sees that, hey, it's not just one or two of us. There's a lot of us here and we all do this witchcraft, pagan, polytheistic thing. Anyways, all of that aside, what I'm doing today is a flip through of one of my favorite decks. This is the Shadowscapes deck and it was published by Llewellyn in 2009, created by an artist who goes by the name of Stephanie. This is one of my favorite decks. I think I say that about all of my tarot decks because I don't have one that I don't like. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's go, let's, let's do the flip through. The Shadowscapes Tarot is one of my favorite decks, mainly because of the imagery and the colors used. It was designed by an artist named Stephanie Law and published by Llewellyn in 2009. Be sure to check out Stephanie's website and social media, all of which can be found in the description below. We'll start our flip through with the Fool in the Major Arcana, and then move through Pentacles, Swords, Wands, and end with Cups. I want to begin with a description of the Fool from Stephanie's website, because it really captures the mystical and ethereal feel of this tarot deck. It begins with a whispered voice. Serpentine, the song threads through her days and her thoughts, beckoning, come come, come. Where? she asks, curious, but there is no response. She ignores the summons until one day that siren song unexpectedly explodes and fills her to the brim. Its pulse is undeniable. Where? she asks again, and this time the steady beat of her heart is the response. The fool has come a long way, traveled from far beyond to come to this pinnacle that rises up upon the edge of the world, and yet her journey is just about to begin. She senses this with instinctive perceptions as she rises up upon her toes, caught up in the breathless embrace of the wind and the moment before the plunge. Her heart pounds and flutters in her chest with the force of a hundred beating wings, struggling to break free of the cage of her being until she feels she must be sprouting wings from her shoulders to glide forth from that place transformed. Wait, don't, cries a thin trailing voice from within. Caution, fear, it rails, hold back. Unheeding, she steps forward. loosely based on the Rider Waite Smith symbolism, making it easy to pick up on the meanings of the cards if you already know them. As always, the Major Arcana tells the story of the Fool through their life, ending with the world. The fantasy element of this deck won't be for everyone, and that's okay, but for me, it really lends to the story of the cards themselves. An abundance of mythical creatures make their presence known in this deck from fairies to elves, and birds big enough to ride, and the occasional dragon. Foxes and swans also play a large role in the cards and symbolism, depending on the suit. The colors on the cards are vibrant, and the artwork is breathtaking. Each suit has a main color that plays into the traditional element associated with that suit. Pentacles have a lot of green, Swords have a lot of muted yellows and grays. Wands have a lot of orange and gold. And lastly, cups have a lot of blues. My Shadowscapes deck has a very soft personality, almost like you would expect from a weary mom who's seen plenty of the world. 
She will be kind with her message, but you will receive the message nonetheless. I'm not sure if that's anyone else's experience with this deck, so I'd be curious to know how you perceive your deck's energy. Leave a comment below if you have this deck and let me know. As for the ease of reading, I feel like the imagery in these cards follows the traditional symbolism of the Rider Waite Smith Tarot. This makes it fairly easy to learn if you pick this up as your first deck. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the flip through of the Shadowscapes Tarot deck. If you would like to pick up the Shadowscapes deck for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, make sure that you check out the artist. Her name is Stephanie, and she doesn't just do tarot decks. She has prints of each of these cards available, or I think just the major arcana, but she also has so much other artwork. Check out her links. All of the links are in the description. This episode's not sponsored. I just really like this deck. Um, but overall, this deck is beautiful, and it's one that I had wanted for a really long time, and I have it, and it serves me well. It doesn't get as much use as some of my other decks, but I feel like it gets use when I need it the most, when I have certain questions that this deck works better with. Um, so yeah, if I had to pick a card from this deck that would be my favorite, I think... I would have to pick either Death or Temperance from the Major Arcana because of the artwork, because of the symbolism and the way that the meaning of the card is portrayed in both of those cards. Death is a phoenix and I feel like that actually shows the meaning of the Death card itself in a better way. Something is dying so that it can be reborn again or changed into something else. And then Temperance incorporates imagery of the yin and yang, seeking that balance. You have two different colors. I think it's blue and yellow. Um, the subject in the card is holding a sphere that is halved like the yin yang symbol. And they're just two very beautiful cards that I love very much. So that's all for today. Just a little flip through. I, again, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy seeing the tarot deck. If you would like to join a witchy community and talk about tarot and witchcraft and parenting and even whatever video games you're playing lately, uh, check the link in my description for the Discord server. I have a Discord server that is slowly growing. It's a great group of people over there and we talk about all different kinds of things, both magical and and mundane. It's an inclusive space. All are welcome unless you're a trash human. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you there. And again, if you're not subscribed and you watched this all the way through to the end, push that subscribe button for me, please. I'd really appreciate it. It does help out so much. And stick around and see what I have coming next because I have a couple of really great videos planned next, especially one coming up for witchcraft for the little witchlings that are going back to school. So I will see you soon. Ooh.